Basically, there are two treatments for lipedema, surgical treatment and conservative treatment. The surgical treatment is liposuction, um, well, technically appropriate to preserve the lymphatic vessels. So, it's a technique that aims to prevent the progression to lymphedema. If not done this way, you might end up swapping lipedema for lymphedema, which is a disease just as uncomfortable as lipedema. So we need to use a very appropriate technique. Now the conservative treatment, it has to be done by everyone. Not everyone will be able to undergo surgery, but the conservative treatment everyone must do. And this involves improving lymphatic return, which can be achieved with lymphatic drainage, with other methods like vibration and deep breathing exercises. We also need to focus on the emotional and mental aspects of the disease. Lipedema often comes with significant anxiety and chronic pain that we need to address. We need to treat this inflammation. This inflammation can be managed and treated with appropriate medication and other associated methods, as I already mentioned. And we need to seek out the inflammatory cause. If we treat only the inflammation without addressing the inflammatory cause, it's pointless. We stop treating the inflammation, the cause keeps triggering it, and everything comes back. To identify this, we need to address both the hormonal aspect, the dietary aspect of the patient, and try to find another trigger, which could be a physical or psychological trauma. From a dietary perspective, we often find a trigger, a food intolerance that ends up triggering and perpetuating this inflammation 